Hi, my name is Bogey. I'm a master mechanic and the owner of 180 Degrees Automotive, and I'm also one of the hosts of the TV show All Girls Garage. Now, today's video, we're going to be talking about the correct way to measure lateral runout. Now, the reason why we want to check this is to make sure that when we're doing a brake job, that there's no lateral runout that can cause brake vibration or pulsation and potentially cause a comeback. Now, I had the guys over at SKF put together this nifty little demonstration so that we can show how it all works. But you might be wondering why the bearing guys at SKF would care about lateral runout. Well, it's because a hub bearing can actually cause lateral runout. Either a worn hub bearing or a dirty or rusty flange face or even a lower quality or value grade hub bearing can cause this. So, so what is lateral runout? Basically, it's when the rotor deviates on its axial plane from the front edge of the rotor. And this is gonna cause a side to side movement in the rotor as it rotates. That's going to cause a number of things from brake pedal vibration or pulsation to squeaky brakes to a spongy brake pedal to even frequent failure of brake and chassis components. Now there are a number of different things that can cause lateral runout. Flange face flex which can be caused from using oversized wheels and tires or a bad or worn out wheel bearing or a dirty or rusty flange face can definitely cause it. Another thing that can cause it is curb impact, which will cause a bent flange and even improper wheel and lug installation. Now, in order to check our lateral runout, we need a couple of things. Obviously, we need a setup with a dial indicator for checking lateral runout. We also need conical washers and have everything torqued down to spec, so you need your torque wrench. And then a chalk pen is handy if you'd like to use that. Now basically you're going to set this up, make sure it's stable, zero out your gauge. And then we're just going to rotate the rotor around and look to see what our runout measurement is. Now remember that on different makes and models, the specification for runout can range, but it's generally between two and five thousandths. So when you're doing a brake job, you want to make sure that you're checking lateral runout to ensure that there are no vibrations or pulsation issues and you get zero comebacks. If you measure it and you're within specification, usually that two to five thousandths, you should be good to go. Now remember, when you're choosing replacement parts for your vehicle, don't compromise on safety. Install confidence with SKF bearings and seals. For more information, visit skfpartsinfo.com or engage with us on Twitter at SKF Parts Info.